Everybody got their own shit going on. None of y'all perfect and neither am I. We all got our shit going on. So I don't hear no one, I don't want to hear no shit about us about holding him accountable. It ain't for you to hold him accountable. It's for him to hold himself accountable. When I did the video on John Morant, one of the first things I said was I did not like the way the media was covering the whole story. It just seemed as though they was kicking him while he was down. And to my surprise, well actually to not my surprise, a former NBA player felt the same way. I've never seen so many of my people. I seen it with me when I, when me and Ron got into that trouble. I seen it a little bit, especially with the black people on TV. I seen it. A lot that's still on TV right now, just like Jermaine O'Neal said on the broad thing, they still owe me an apology. And they on TV right now, but I ain't never asked them for it. That's what J.O. said, because the way they talked about me. But check it out. It's so many of uh, uh, my our people that I see that seem like they happy that John made a mistake. Like they happy to, to, to kick him while he down and say, I told you so. It's our own people though. And that's crazy, bro. That's why I always tell the youngsters, bro. Do you, bro. Stand on your own and live your life the way you want to. You know what I'm saying? Because that shit really bothered me to see so many of us happy and all jumping in together to kick John while he down. Sad. That's another thing. I don't want to hear nothing about it. It's about holding him accountable. Half of y'all scared to look in the mirror and hold yourselves accountable for the shit y'all done done wrong. Or the person y'all doing wrong right now. Or the lie you holding on to right now. You just lied to somebody. And you scared to go, go, go tell him the truth. So stop it. I'm not going to lie. When he said that, I felt like he knows something. He knows something. One of y'all niggas sitting behind that desk is cheating on your wife. Everybody got their own shit going on. None of y'all perfect and neither am I. We all got our shit going on. So I don't hear no one, I don't want to hear no shit about us about holding him accountable. It ain't for you to hold him accountable. It's for him to hold himself accountable. That's that's the only person. All y'all talking about it, oh, we just trying to hold him accountable. It, it's not for you to do. It's for you to go in the mirror and hold yourself accountable for the shit you done done in the last week that you ain't clearing up. Y'all gotta stop it, bro. Everybody want to play God now. Y'all got to stop it. Y'all far from it. We all got flaws. We all got mistakes. And we all human. And we all had this shit we had to recover from. Y'all got to stop it. Hold yourself accountable. To be quite honest, though, I feel as though Shannon Sharp, and I, I fucks with Unk, you feel me? But I feel as though the little altercation Shannon Sharp had with John Moran and his pops, I feel as though that might cloud his judgment just a little bit. I do feel as though Shannon Sharp needs to look at it from a... I'm part of the media, and this young black man made a mistake. I'm not going to continue the narrative of kicking him while he's down. That's the part we need to get to. Stop kicking this young man while he's down. Yes, he made a mistake, so how are we going to help him correct his mistake? You feel me? I even seen people comparing uh, John Moran's punishment to Kyrie Irving's punishment. And I'm not going to lie. I hate the fact, I hate when black folks do that. I hate when black folks start comparing each other's pains. I hate that shit. But I do want to do a whole video on why their punishments are different. Why Kyrie Irving really got dragged through the mud and John Morant is, it seems as though he's getting a slap on the wrist from Nike. I got, listen, let's put it this way. In 30 years, Kyrie Irving is going to be a hero. I'm going to just put it like that. Okay. But I agree with Steven Jackson. You know, y'all going in on this young man. He's 23. He made a mistake. Now let's help him come back from that. All right, squad.